Okay, so I guess you guys saw the video. Okay, let us start by introducing ourselves. Hari sir, please introduce yourself. Hello everyone, my name is Hari Puti. Currently I am in Mumbai and uh, I am working with NCI, National Computography, as a product development manager. I am a B in instrumentation and uh, PGDM in marketing and actor. Raman, please introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Naman Shamsuka. I am currently pursuing my ACC London based in Calcutta, but currently uh, present in Bangalore. Thank you. So, myself, Bodhichan Mukherjee. I am from Kolkata and right now I am studying at ILEED College and I am studying BBA at Entrepreneurship. Thank you. Okay, so Hadi sir, can you give a brief introduction about Make My Trip? <laughs> So, Make My Trip is uh, basically a, a travel booking app wherein you can book an entire package or you can book uh, also like uh, uh, your flight tickets or maybe hotel or if you want to book bus tickets, you can book bus tickets or if you want to book a train ticket, you can book train tickets as well. So it's overall an online uh, portal, e-commerce type, but uh, related to uh, mainly this uh, traveling, travel bookings and all. Okay, Naman, please give a short introduction about Make My Trip. Make My Trip is a internet company which uh, specializes in traveling. Are you there? Hello. Yeah, can you hear us? Yeah, we can. I can hear you. But your video is. I think. Okay. Yeah, Naman. Please give a brief intro about Make My Trip. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, we can hear you now. Hello? Yeah, so I was telling that Make My Trip is an internet company which specializes in travel and tourism. Well, My Trip is started initially as a broker in, you know, in Hello. Yeah, I guess Naman uh, is facing some network issues. Naman, I guess you are facing network problems. So, so let us continue. Okay, Hadi said. So how do you think the pandemic has affected the travel industry? Yes, so due to COVID, uh, mostly uh, traveling has stopped and uh, there has been instructions by the government uh, from uh, various countries and uh, there has been some protocols and some COVID uh, related traveling restrictions. So it has had, uh, it is uh, definitely affected the traveling industry, hospitality and the traveling industry, because most of the tourist destinations are deserted, and very few people, uh, few tourists were going at that time. So now it's slowly normalizing, but I think it has definitely affected the uh, number of people, number of tourists in all countries. Okay, so Naman, same question for you. How do you think the pandemic has affected the travel industry? Uh, Aditra, I have a request. Uh, Aditra, I have a request to you that if you can please switch off your video because my internet pack is just at the verge of, you know, uh, 
uh, actually i can't switch off my be video because, because uh, during presentation i am required to switch on my video i cannot switch off my video so right i would not because be i am doing the moderator right i am the moderator yeah, you can moderate with with switching off the video also. no actually according to fisher sir advice yeah. i cannot switch off because fisher sir told me to keep it on because since i am presenting i have to be in my suit okay i am switching up okay no issue okay naman are you comfortable now can you hear me hello yeah yeah i can hear you yeah so today uh, uh, thanks for that because i am facing some issues with the internet i'm sorry for that distortion no, no, it's not, it's not. but yeah make my trip is a you know yeah so make my trip is an internet company which specializes which i told in travel and tourism it started as a initial brokerage for airline tickets uh, and it was a huge success back in the days it was one of the few startups uh, which had that you know uh, technology focused air, air, air and train booking so uh, it has been a huge success and uh, it has achieved a good growth and scale uh, if i say it in india especially so yeah make my trip is a very good startup to have a so how do you think the pandemic has affected the travel industry naman yeah so i think uh, it has affected very you know uh, very strongly the pandemic has very much affected all those small businesses especially in travel and tourism well uh, the coronavirus haven't spared the small businesses and as well as the big businesses which are running but the small businesses are in very much worse condition compared to other big businesses like make my trip and and uh, many other like go ibibo or tribago so these are at least they can survive but the small businesses which used to deal in travel and tourism they are facing major major crisis so yeah pandemic has affected uh, the travel and tourism industry the first yeah, like if you see the stats it's the worst industry which has been affected by the uh, covid 19 and okay so uh, i think atul sir just joined okay so atul sir can you please introduce yourself hi namaste uh, my name is atul kumar uh, currently based in san francisco bay area and uh, i'm in the business of helping entrepreneurs atul sir one request i am facing some internet issue so if you can switch on of your video it would be good for me to have participate in the discussion thank you atul sir okay so the next question is okay hari sir do you think pandemic like corona virus can happen again in future yeah hari uh, sir could you uh... repeat what pandemic can happen again yeah i i was saying that do you think pandemic like corona virus can happen again in future or even worse than corona virus so well, definitely it can happen because uh, no one knows what uh, no one can predict future no one has seen what is future okay so we can predict but we we don't know what future is exactly so it uh, totally depends like uh, uh, on all the activities that uh, we as human uh, do in day to day life and uh, knowingly and unknowingly we harm our environment so the that uh, really affects and these small 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 things and one day it becomes very huge and it comes up like corona virus so definitely we never know what uh, future is there exactly so it can happen but uh, yes we do have uh, uh, 
we will be doing some advancement also in technology and other types of things so we'll be able to overcome that too as well i hope so like that that hope will always be there okay naman what's your opinion do you think pandemic like coronavirus can happen again in future yeah it's a very possibility because it has happened in the past so why not it will not be there in the future but obviously it will not be coronavirus it will it will be another virus or any other disastrous you know pandemic will happen it's it's a natural thing uh, i think because uh, as people evolve and as people adapt to different situations so obviously there is something new which can come up which will be very much you know uncertain and that is what we are we as human beings are always uh, looking and predicting uncertain problems so that we can find a solution just like the coronavirus right so yeah it has happened in the spanish flu during the cholera outbreak during the polio outbreak so it has been continued ever since if you see the history of our mankind right so it will be going further also not in, not in the phase like not coronavirus but it will be it can be more dangerous or it can be more lenient than the coronavirus god only knows what lies in the future we don't have it in our hands but yeah prevention is the thing which we have in our hands and uh, if we move what i have seen is because of the rising population in on the planet and because of the land occupancy which is going low and low and because of the climate change and many other factors which we think like uh, is affecting the uh, the planet right i think because of that also anything can happen so yeah there the future is uncertain but yeah it's a huge possibility that anything another pandemic can happen so do you think coronavirus is man made naman what do you think about that uh well that's a little bit i would say a lame question but uh, i don't think so coronavirus no because is there are a lot of theories uh, yeah. there are lots of scientists claiming yeah, that there are a lot of conspiracy theories yeah there are a lot of conspiracy theories which are you know coming from the um, people uh, who want to you know who are very much uh, uh, influenced by the politics so they want to you know downgrade a country downgrade something so obviously it's like a thought it's a conspiracy theory it's nothing else we haven't reached that much level that we are creating a virus to destroy or to affect the people right if we have a bio weapon it would be more worse than the scenario right so bio weapons uh, which we say that corona is a bio weapon i don't think so because corona virus was a disease in the animals uh, is, uh, for example dogs and cats had a corona virus flu but because the code the nature of the corona corona virus that it can adapt to the situations very quickly because it can change the genes its genetic structure very quickly so that is why the corona virus came from animals to humans because it can change it can adapt so the thing is in china they used to eat very much non veg things which which we which indians also like people also can't believe that we can eat this right so uh, there is a saying in india there is a saying around the world that anything moves it's a food for chinese people right so uh, so i think because of that culture uh, and and the things which are not made to for us to eat they can eat that so i think it is very possible suppose for example let's take about bats right bats they are using in soup they are using in that bats have viruses which are not tran transmit uh, transferable to humans but bats have those virus some viruses which can be you know transmitted to the humans and the second thing is bats have better immunity than us right so we have seen also nifa virus was there 
which had originated from the fruit bats in Kerala. We have seen those outbreaks, but it was very minor. But this was the biggest one because of the population. You can say about the population, the Chinese population, and because the Chinese is a uh, they say it's a developing nation, but it's a developed nation. So obviously, the Chinese people tra they travel a lot more abroad. So that is why I think, and they eat those things, right? So I think the real culprit is their food eating habits. It's not man. -made. Okay, Hari sir, same question for you. What's your opinion about this? Hari sir, can you hear us? Yes. This is not audible. Okay, Naman. So let us assume that China made the virus uh, by themselves. It is a man-made virus. So if China really made the virus by themselves, so why would you think it would do that? What would be the purpose for China to make the virus? Hello. Yeah, Harish, can you hear us? Yeah, I, I was away from my phone actually. Tell me. Yeah, so, so you are, you push. push. Yeah, question. the question was, yes, do you think coronavirus is man-made? Hello. I'm audible. Hello. Hello. Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Hello. Yeah, yeah, you're audible. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I was saying like, uh, uh, that is a question uh, which uh, even the FBI wants to know the answer of that. The question? The, yeah, the question the, was, do you think coronavirus is man-made? No, exactly. So uh, even the FBI is also searching for the answer for the same question, I am saying. The whole whole world wants to know this answer, and there are many conspiracy theories around it. Exactly. That it's man-made, it's bioweapon, or it originated from animals. Right. right. So, but I think, so, Hariji, that it originated initially from animals because do dogs and cats, those uh, foxes, and also like those animals had a virus known as coronavirus previously. But exactly. They, could, they they are not able to transmit to the humans. But now, because of the genetic structure, they can change the genetic structure very easily. And right. uh, they have that, you know, very, mm -hmm. they can adapt in any situation in very Correct. adverse conditions. So I think because the Chinese food culture is like that, na, so because of that, it mm -hmm. could happen, you know, it's a very high chance it could happen from food. I'm not saying the normal food we eat, like, uh, people eat chicken and all but uh, the thing is mm. chicken and all these things uh, uh, they are actually harvested right now mm. and not you know uh, eaten wild but those things bats and rat and cockroaches they have that habit to eat and, and there's a very good saying also that like anything that moves Chinese people can eat right mm -hmm. so, right right so that's the thing. So actually the Wuhan meat market, mm -hmm. that is the uh, epicenter or or from where the uh, COVID virus started was the meat center, which is near to the uh, Wuhan Institute of Virology. So basically uh, it is said that they were experimenting, like there are a number of theories going around now these days. So some, some yeah. theory suggests that uh, the Chinese officials were undergoing tests on a, uh, on a virus that can be used as a bioweapon. And that virus got uh, leaked somehow from the lab and it went into the uh, uh, center of that city, Wuhan Meat Factory, which is nearby, uh, sorry, Wuhan Meat, uh, that is market, meat market. So it went over there like somehow that uh, 
viruses got infected uh, to the uh, to the whatever livestock they were having whatever animals they were kept for uh, meat they got infected then from there they started infecting the humans so that is one theory and uh, there are many other theories going around like it happened because of eating bats because bats are a carrier of coronavirus and they do have coronavirus like uh, there are some bats who uh, earlier like before this pandemic many bats used to have this disease corona but their immunity was okay and they can uh, like overcome that disease but when humans start like chinese people they ate bat meat and bat soup with corona infected uh, uh, thing so it gradually spread to humans there was some other theory also wherein uh, i don't know but the chinese official said like uh, the some people they had uh, sex with the uh, animals having coronavirus and it started spreading through them so this so was that's... one okay, yeah so, so there are many more many more yes uh, many, many exactly many. just like just like no one knows how aids started in the same way the right. coronavirus has come so no one knows how it started or what is the exact uh, reason behind whether it is man made or it's naturally and the structure as such uh, of the virus it shows it is not a man made it is purely a natural one because uh, we, our technology is not that advanced that we can create such spikes of protein so so it much chances are that it is a naturally occurring virus not a man made virus Okay, so Naman, so how hope, do you think? Have... Yeah, yeah. Okay, Naman, how do you think Make My Trip survived the pandemic? Uh, I think because uh, the main affected the people with uh, the in uh, the uh, the companies which were affected very badly were the traveling companies, but not the brokerage companies. they were yeah obviously they were affected because of that but they were affected hello suppose you okay. now you have only one source that is you you only earn as the passenger books a flight ticket in your company right but make my trip just uh, do not only have the bookings of flight tickets but they have the bookings of train tickets uh, buses etc etc they also have holiday packages and uh, local guides local tours and many other things they have so i think obviously the business has been impacted but it hasn't impacted that much that uh, that the company has fallen Uh, and down to its needs needs right so obviously i don't think that badly happened but yeah it affected a little uh, make my trip and they have overcome because when the travel opened you have seen the surge in the prices of the uh, airline tickets and uh, holiday packages so and the people most people uh, including me felt exhausted to go out somewhere whether it's i don't care about the money or don't care about anything but yeah i i do want feel the urge people do feel the urge to go out right at least because six seven months we have stayed at home you don't feel like you are very much exhausted you don't have anything to do right so people after the pandemic uh, uh, the lockdown was lifted so people started now people are doing international travel so i think it's back on track but it will take a little bit more time okay hari sir how do you think make my trip survive the pandemic so i think uh, they had enough uh, uh, like whatever 
bookings or business that they made was enough for them to survive for the pandemic and uh, apart from that the uh, cancellations and uh, whatever airline cancellations booking had been done so all that money might have been there in their uh, in their uh, business current accounts so they managed with that thing that's it and uh, apart from that uh, bookings were going on like hotels and hotel industry hotel booking started after the pandemic so i don't think like uh, just a one month or two months of two or three months of lockdown could really affect a, a startup which is could really affect a company that is uh, running from last 20 years so three months of lockdown won't really affect much okay so i guess we are running out of time okay so guys thank you for coming thank you for joining the session and goodbye and good night